what is the direction what is direction we don't know so how do we find the horizontal component or the vertical component for applying conservation of momentum so let us first understand the concept of relative velocity mass m is moving on this block the velocity of mass m relative to the wedge is vr or we can say vm with respect to wedge is equal to vr and let's say v wedge with respect to ground is u so v mass with respect to ground this is what we know want to know for energy conservation v mass with respect to ground is equal to v wedge with respect to ground plus v mass with respect to wedge or i will write it like this v mass with respect to wedge plus v wedge with respect to ground i just like to point out one thing here just for remembering it you can see that the suffix of this will become prefix of this in case of the vector and you add this will be same and these two combined mass and ground will be here you can see so and always add when you are adding the vector when you are adding velocity of mass with respect to wedge you will start that vector from the head of this vector a velocity of wedge with respect to ground is like this we know it is horizontal so it is u i have velocity of wedge with respect to ground is this now velocity of mass with respect to wedge we know it is in this angle it is in this direction but you start from here from the head because they are adding so this is v r and this is angle alpha you join the two this is the resultant this is the velocity of the wedge now you join and make it further like this like this. This total is V R cos alpha. This one will be how much? This one will be will be V R cos alpha minus U is this much. This will be V R sine alpha. This is V. So what is V? v is equal to v is equal to v square is equal to v r this is v r cos alpha minus u whole square plus v r sin alpha whole square so v square is equal to v r square plus u square minus twice v r u cos alpha this is the value of velocity the absolute velocity of mass m apply the conservation of momentum along x axis so what is the velocity component of this it is this is the velocity component if this is theta v cos theta is the velocity of mass along x axis and what is v cos theta v cos theta is this one this is v r cos alpha minus u is equal to v r cos alpha minus u so m v cos theta is equal to m u conservation of momentum what is v cos theta v cos theta is v r cos alpha minus u m v r cos alpha minus u is equal to m u or we can write v r cos alpha minus u is equal to m upon m into u or v r cos alpha is equal to u m upon m plus 1 this is an important result we are going to use it for solving the balance part now let us write the energy equation conservation of energy the initial energy is in reference to this point in reference to this point this is the height this is the reference point so the energy conservation we can write is mgh is equal to half m capital m u square velocity of this is u this is mass m if this energy 
plus half m v square. So it becomes g h is equal to twice g h equal to m upon m u square plus v square. Now what is v square? v square we have written here v square is this v square is equal to v r v r value also we are knowing is equal to u m upon m plus 1 whole square upon cos square alpha is v r square plus u square minus twice u v r cos alpha we know v r cos alpha is this u square m upon m plus 1 this is our v square we put the value of v square there we can then get the result twice g h is equal to m upon m u square plus u square m upon m plus 1 whole square upon cos square alpha plus u square minus twice u square minus twice u square m upon m this becomes twice g h is equal to minus m upon m u square we solve this minus u square we solve this plus u square upon cos square alpha m upon m plus 1 whole square so this becomes minus u square m upon m plus 1 plus u square upon cos square alpha m upon m plus 1 whole square is equal to twice the h. Take u square common, u square common m upon and m upon m plus 1 common, it becomes m upon m plus 1. 1 upon cos square alpha minus 1. We further solve it u square m plus m upon m bracket m plus m upon m cos square alpha minus 1 is equal to u square is equal to u square m plus m upon m m plus m this will become m minus m cos square alpha will become m sin square alpha upon m cos square alpha is twice g h so the value of u square is twice g h m square cos square alpha upon m plus m into m plus m sin square alpha is the value of u square so u will be equal to this raised to power this raised to power 1 upon 2 is the value of u which is what we require is the value of the horizontal velocity of the wedge so few points i would just like to mention before closing this uh, lesson that always use the vector method and write in this suffix and prefix form it becomes easier you can notice that when the two vectors are added a resultant vector is given then the suffix of this will be prefix here and these two will be the prefix and suffix here and always add like this when these two vectors are getting added draw one vector another vector should start from the head don't start from the tail when the two vectors are added the other vector will always start from the head and take the advantage of the directions available we knew the direction of u in this case was in this direction we knew the direction of relative velocity vr which was in this direction so this was useful in drawing this diagram in this uh, trick and we could finally use the trigonometric relationship always do this problem like i would suggest it's up to you how do you do it but then i think this is a better way of doing this problem and never use if you are conserving the energy don't just use the relative velocity in the energy you have to know the 
what is the absolute velocity it will have horizontal component it will have vertical component and this was the absolute velocity v which we were to use and we have used that only in conservation of energy if you use this only then it would have given you a wrong result thank you